I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a second child, younger sibling. Make some noise if you are a second <laughs> child. Yeah, that is the sound of a traumatic childhood. <laughs> okay, now make some noise if you are an older sibling. <laughs> Same guys are cheering. <laughs> They're single child. <laughs> that dude, second child, younger sibling. Nobody gives a shit about them. They treat us also like shit. <laughs> That's why the term for taking a shit is number two. It's named after. Dude. Older siblings, no, older siblings have started this one rumor that their life is worse. That's not true. You know why? Because for the first child, at least they try and fail. By the time the second child comes, they're like, if we're anyway going to fail, what is the point of even trying? I have an older sister. She's almost 10 years older than me. You know, almost a decade difference. You know what that means, right? <laughs> Ten year gap between two kids. It means I was a mistake. <laughs> Nobody has one kid, waits 10 years, two and a half Olympics later, they're like, oh, let's have one more. My house, I'm a mistake. It's not even an insult or a secret. They call me that. When I go visit, they're like, oh, the mistake is here. <laughs> Hello. See, I am 31 years old right now. My father is 71. You know, so if you're good at maths, dude, he had me when he was 40, 100% mistake. 40, that generation, they were closed for business, bro. They are thinking about mutual funds, retirement now. It's over. Then I just showed up out of nowhere. I, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not shitting on my parents. Okay. My parents really love me. They just didn't plan me. I showed up. Like when you get drunk and order something on Amazon, the next day it comes, you're like, when did I order the skipping rope? <laughs> that is me in human form. <laughs> yeah. I'll explain to you how it happened, okay? Oh. Not, not, gra <laughs> not. <laughs> Look, I was born, but exactly nine months before I was born, my grandfather died. So I think my dad was just kind of sad that his father died. And so my mom was like, okay, let me cheer him up. <laughs> Not aware of the grave mistake she's about to, yeah. Of all the mistakes, this has to be the worst, right? Seriously, when I was a kid, my dad used to teach me maths. And he'll always be like, Ravi, you're making too many silly mistakes. It's like, Bro, I learned from the best. Your silly mistake is failing maths right now. But look at the sequence of events, right? Grandfather died, immediately mom got pregnant. So religious family also. So all these aunties will come with their rumors and superstitions. Grandfather is coming. Yeah. Oh, the grandfather is being reborn as the grandson in the same family. How lucky. It's not lucky at all. You know how confusing that was for my father? My entire childhood, my father never hit me once. I'm sure he wanted to, I deserved it also. But every time he'll come, he'll be like, oh, is this my father or is this my son? I used to mess with him also. Every time I'll ask my dad for something, he'll be like, sorry, I can't afford it now. I'm like, I raised you better than this. You loser. This is not the worst part of the story. The worst part of the story is when my older sister reached high school, teenager, she wanted her own bedroom in the house. You know, till then we were sharing, but she wanted some privacy now. So to accommodate this request, they made me share a room with my grandmother. <laughs> my ex-wife. <laughs> Every day I'm sitting in my room looking at my grandmother saying, I married her. Uh, my, previous. <laughs> my choice used to suck. <laughs> Nice. You guys like laughing at my trauma. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, make some noise, uh, all those of you who are 30 years or older. Man, I almost regret asking. You know? I'm telling you, okay, dude, when I was a teenager or in my early 20s, I just assumed that by the time you reach your 30s, you'll be successful. I thought you just have to wait. <laughs> Then you reach your thirties, you're like, dude, where is my success, bro? It's like me and success are going on a date and she canceled. I'm just waiting at the restaurant now. She's going to show up anytime now. 
you know how it feels it feels like you guys have taken a flight right you know sometimes you'll get on the flight and you'll immediately fall asleep and then you wake up and you'll see oh it's on the ground have we landed and then the guy next to you will be like bro we haven't even taken off yet <laughs> dude google is concerned for me now bro cuz i think they know i'm doing stand up and i haven't updated my linkedin also in many years so you know you guys get targeted ads i get targeted job offers <laughs> Not even fancy ones. It'll be like, oh, village panchayat recruitment. <laughs> They're like, do do something in life. It's either jobs or it's those matrimonial websites that I get now. <laughs> yeah, and it's nothing cool. It's never the cool ones like Telugu Matrimony dot com or Tamil Mat. It'll be something very specific, you know. Thirty and still alone Matrimony dot com. <laughs> I went to one of my friend's weddings recently, dude. He got married after that. He's like, Ravi, enough now. You have to get married. I was like, why? He's like because you can. <laughs> I was like that's a terrible logic, dude. Right? <laughs> There are a lot of things I can do, but I shouldn't. I can climb. I can climb Everest, but I shouldn't. I will die in that Nepal base camp itself. I won't even reach the mountain, you know. Like I don't know if you guys have seen this movie called Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, there's a scene where they go. The scientists who made the dinosaur, the hero goes and tells them, just because you could. doesn't mean you should you know same logic for marriage and dinosaurs in life no i'm not saying your wife is a dinosaur you know dinosaurs are beautiful creatures so i have a friend who has a kid now four year old kid that's how ahead of me he is you ever see some of your friends and you're like bro he has some cheat code or what how is he so ahead of me i have a friend who has a kid so i can't even compare myself with the father now because there are some months when me and the kid have the same income you know <laughs> i'm comparing with the next generation now i went to my friend's house his son is like papa come let's go play cricket so they were playing cricket in their pri- they have a private garden i don't even live close to a public garden you know <laughs> that's the difference in income levels but i thought it's very sweet father and son playing cricket and cute no these are memories they bonding they'll remember it together as the sun is also so small he can't even lift the ball properly with all his force he threw it at 4 km per hour speed <laughs> but then as the ball was coming the father became ab devilius <laughs> he took stance and whacked it to the other end of that park not just that he made the boy go <laughs> fetch the ball and come back I thought maybe he hit it that forcefully by mistake, right? No, because I saw at him he's still in that pose, <laughs> admiring his shot. You know, in this guy's head, he's in Vanke Day right now. Harsha Bhogle is commentating. Cheerleaders are dancing for him. That's when I realized, wow, what? A, this is why I want to have kids now. You know, because dude, our generation dads, there were two types of dads. They either let you follow your dream. or they won't let you follow your dream our generation we are having kids cuz we're like screw your dreams i still have my dreams <laughs> this guy doesn't have a son he has a net bowler <laughs> his only job is to bowl every day go fetch the ball come back and bowl again dude that's how the father has never hit a six against a regular size people <laughs> why do you think tendulkar's son is a bowler <laughs> He also wanted to bat. He didn't get chance. Cuz his dad would travel the world. He'll smash centuries against Vaughn, Murli, Wasim Akram. Come back home and wake this guy up. Get ready. Daddy needs to hit another double century now. 